Hey guys, I'm up here at the place on Heath. Uh, you said you want to do an offer. I'm going to do the offer right after this, but I wanted to at least just take a look since I was nearby. Uh, it's the best. It's the most ready to go that we've seen. Uh, everything seems cool. There's not a whole lot of space in back. This is your space in back, which is like zero, but there's a whole lot of space in front. Uh, so that's going to be nice. It's got a huge corner which is, uh, I don't know if it's useful, but it's darn sure prestigious to have that great big corner out front. The pool is pristine. Uh, the walls all appear to be solid. Um, I haven't seen any problems. The screens are all intact. Uh, the trees don't particularly overhang, so you're not going to have as much problem with stuff being on your screens. Uh, they're mostly uh, these... Uh, cedars or whatever they aren't really going to draw very much stuff anyway because they're not conifers or uh, acorns um so i'm out in the back you go in here you've got a, a beautiful uh stone fireplace really nice um you can see you've got more space over here you've actually got a fenced in area so that's nice it's got an alarm the voice will go off Side door. Um, here's some spare roof tiles. This is the coolest thing. I think this is the first one we've looked at that has a tile roof. These tile roofs last forever. They're really nice. Um, here's your corner lot with your little uh, wooded area. Really cool. You could sit out there and chill. You've got this whole fenced-in area. Really nice. Everything seems to work. Uh, they've obviously still got all the power and the water on. Uh, so that's good. Um, you've got this great big semi-open floor plan. It's not open-open, but it's semi-open where you've got a dining area. Here's the kitchen. Uh, you've got Whirlpool stainless. Uh, this could be updated, but it doesn't have to be updated right away. You've got a, a decent... Um, everything's decent. A uh, nice tile here. When you go outside, you've got this cool courtyard area. And it's got a it's got a kind of a prestige to it. It's nice. There's your lot again. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the living areas yet, so there could be a nasty surprise, but I don't see a nasty surprise. I don't foresee a nasty surprise. Here we're walking through again. Uh, we've got one living area over here, which is a closet. A bath. Looks like a functional bath. Like I said, all the water and power is still on. It's actually still inhabited. It's Nothing appears to be wonky. Nice little beadboard medicine chest. Oh, this is the garage. Okay, so this is not a living area. This is the garage. That makes a lot of sense. Washer and dryer are in the garage. Water tank is in the garage. You've got a spare door that's not servicing bowl right now because stuff's piled in front of it, but obviously that's going to change. Here's your door. Here's a spare refrigerator. So excuse me, it's not a split floor plan. It's all the living areas on one side, but that's fine. Some people prefer that. Here's your other door to the pool. And here's your master with access to the pool. Really nice. That's a closet. This is going to be your master bath. Oh, it's a nice corner wraparound master bath um, with yet another closet. Oh no, it's a separate access. Gotcha. So you can uh, you can separate access your bath here. I see. Okay, because this bath probably serves both of the bedrooms. I understand now. Another closet. Another closet. So it's it's not a traditional floor plan at all. It's actually downright funny, but in a nice way because it, it's totally functional. Uh, it's actually really cool. I can feel the AC blasting the AC. Oh, cedar closet. Love the cedar closet. Um, AC works like a charm, I, I would say, because I can feel it. Um, ceiling fans. 
This is a this is a quirky house in a great way. I like I like the quirks. Uh, it gives it a it gives it a, a style. Uh, but um, the ceilings and roofs appear dead on. Like I said, those tile roofs last forever. I don't see anything wrong with this. You got the beadboard look in here, uh, which is a, a favorite of mine personally. Uh, nothing that needs to be addressed right away. Totally turnkey. Pittsburgh Steelers. I guess that's it. I'm going to secure and uh, I'm going to go make you guys an offer and we'll make this happen.